What's up everybody, just back with another video. Uh, so I just came across this video here of Robert Kennedy Jr. kind of explaining how we take back the party as a country away from the two uniparties, or sorry, the one uniparty. So let's have a look at this video and then we'll talk about it a little bit after. Over the last five years, our country has become something unrecognizable. Journalists have exposed a massive censorship complex Federal agencies like the FBI, the IRS, the Justice Department, and even the Secret Service have been weaponized against political opponents. We're subject to constant surveillance. The government wraps itself in lies and secrets. Corruption is pervasive within the regulatory agency and the halls of power. There's only one thing that can turn this all around. And if you thought I was going to say that it's me, you were mistaken. That's not something that I can do alone. But if enough people want to reclaim our country, I can be your instrument. I'll be the sledgehammer that the American people will wield to smash apart the corrupt merger of the state and corporate power. But I can only do that with your active support before and after I enter the White House. And right now, what you can do is to invest in my campaign. Donate whatever you can. I promise you that I'm going to redeem the trust that you put in me, and together we'll show that we, the people, can take back our power. Yeah, I mean, there isn't a single thing he said there where he was wrong. Talking about taking back, you know, the the rights of people, making sure we're not putting, you know, people in jail for political reasons or trying to destroy the Uniparty. You know, he, he's, he's right about all those things, and you know, he's the only one saying these things. Trump did a little bit, but he didn't do anything to really change that. Say what you want about him, but he like him, love him, hate him, neutral with him, it doesn't matter. He's still 80-90% establishment. He was the anti-establishment candidate, but he did not do nearly everything he said he was going to do. Kennedy just comes from such a, a strong, uh, especially a politically strong family, and his uncle and dad were both talking the same way he's talking now, which is probably why they were, uh, probably why their lives ended. But either way, you know, this guy's coming in, and we haven't had a politician like this since his dad or his uncle. And, you know, the more and more people look and actually listen to him speak, the more people seem to like him. The people who don't like him seem to be people who will not listen to him speak, which says a lot about them and their either intelligence or lack thereof. But either way, you know, you, you just keep pushing out the message saying, hey, I'm anti-corruption. I'm for the people. I'm against the Uniparty. I'm against wars. I'm against BlackRock owning up residents. I'm against, you know, corporate crony fake capitalism. And these are all great things that Americans and even Canadians like myself need. And even though I'm Canadian, I don't get a vote, I still want to talk about Robert Kennedy Jr. because usually Canada kind of copycats what America does. So maybe Robert Kennedy Jr. can inspire a Canadian politician, whether they're already a politician or you know a young aspiring politician, to be a lot like him. And if Robert Kennedy wins, I know he won't, but let's just say he wins. He gets in office, makes all kind of great changes. That helps. That helps Canada too, because Canadians are going to see this and be like, "Oh, we should have a guy like him." You know, again, I know I keep saying it. I'm not going to stop saying it. Robert Kennedy Jr. for president. He's the only chance to actually come in here and make a difference and make some changes that we really need to make. The middle class is about to be destroyed. If it's completely destroyed, can it recover? I don't know. Maybe. But also maybe not. Let's not let this happen and vote for Robert Kennedy Jr.